This is a sanding block and it comes with interchangeable sanding pads. Interchangeable. You can tell I've been using this one already. Uh, these are sanding mesh and it has a Velcro on the other side. And so you basically, you put this down, you stick this on top and you're able to pick up your different grits of mesh so that it makes sanding much easier, see? Just makes life easy to sand this way. I mean, you don't have little pieces of sandpaper and it's not falling apart on you. So we put together a little kit where we have varying degrees of sandpaper grits. So if, if you don't know already, the aggressiveness of sandpaper is measured in a grit system. So the lower grit number you have, the more aggressive the sandpaper is gonna be. Like 60 grit sandpaper is really, really rough. Like this is 80 right here, and this is super toothy, really rough. But if you bump it up to like 120 or 220, you're gonna have a much finer mesh and you're gonna get a much finer sanding. Here's the problem though, because you're like, Evan, why don't we just start at 220 and you just give us one piece of sandpaper and we make it happen? I would if that worked well, but me having the experience as a woodworker, I know that in order to have the best and smoothest surface when you're sanding something, you have to do a couple of things right. And one of those things is to sand with the grain, right? Another one of those things is to step up your grits in succession. So you start out with a really, really heavy grit, like an 80 and then you work your way up to 150, and then you work your way up to 220, and then you work your way up to 300 in incremental steps. Now it sounds like a lot of work and it sounds like a lot of switching, but in reality what it does is it allows you to cut down on time by being more efficient. So when we start out with 60 grit, we're gonna just knock down the big stuff on this plank of wood, you know, sanding with the grain, getting the big stuff knocked down, and then you peel, the sandpaper mesh off the back and you put on a new one and you can just simply put it on your workpiece and stick your sanding pad down on top and now you're attached and you can continue to sand. If you follow those steps and go through the grits in succession, you have an incredibly smooth piece of wood. It works really, really well. So our goal is to provide this kit to you. We want to turn this into a scorch marker sanding kit. There aren't a lot of good ways for you to sand at home. And this is one of the ways that we found to be the best aside from using an electric random orbital sander. So we're gonna pick out the best grits for you. We're gonna include this really nice handle with the Velcro. We're gonna put it in this awesome little box and we're gonna design everything and we're gonna make it available for you. We've got you, happy crafting.